Froggy, 99.9. How you doing? It is Scotch Tank and Mandy. Tis the season. <laughs> Spooky season, oh, that yes, is. Blah, blah, blah. What, uh, what uh, ghost cereal would you have right now if you could choose one of the... Was there three of them? Well, you called them ghost cereals, but are the monster cereals? Shut up. Yeah, like, like, like I, Count Chocula? My favorite is, is the... Casper on one of the cereal boxes? Oh, my goodness. You're so ignorant. It's Boo Berry. <laughs> Boo Berry is the ghost. But then you have Frankenberry, like Casper, right? Count Chocula. There's also the Fruit Brute. There's so what, Yummy what Mummy. What would you have yeah, right which one now would you if like? you had to choose uh, one? I would go with Boo Berry. Boo Berry. Boo Berry is my favorite of all the monster cereals. I'm kind of craving a uh, uh, chocolate milk right now, so I would go with the Count, uh, Count Chocula. Count Chocula. Yep, so I could drink the chocolate milk afterwards. It's so weird, though. Like It's, it's not, not really. I think a lot of people drink their milk <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> yeah, you but don't? It's, it's what's chocolate. It's what's lukewarm weird, warm milk. That's why I don't like it. Oh, you got to eat fast, though. Oh, okay. yeah. Then that's maybe the that's the problem. Because you don't want it to get too soggy either. In, you know, it was weird. Last year, a friend of mine gave me a box of a Monster Mash, it was called, and it was all of the flavors together in one box. Was it good? Which would be great if it was in three separate bags, but it's all mixed together. Oh. No, it really was not that good. Oh, sad. Because you got a mixture of all the flavors. Let's and- hear the noise you made when you ate it. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <it's> the- gross. <laughs> Kind of cool noise. But... I like that. It's crunchy. That reminds me of breakfast. <laughs> so, uh, 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 as fun as it would be, I think it would be be pretty tough to dress up as, say, Frankenberry or Count Chocula because they got such a definitive look. But those would be fun costumes. A those... lot of makeup, I feel like, especially yeah. if you're Frankenstein. Like, ugh. you missed it earlier in the week. We were talking about where, what we were going to go as. I think I'm going to go as a CVS receipt. Just a big long trail of paper. I wanted I to go as. It. Taco Bell, where I'm just wearing like Disney Bell's dress, and then I eat tacos all the time. That's a good idea. Like I'm gonna wear my headphones and go as a radio <laughs> announcer. Oh my gosh! Actually, you guys, I do have the best Halloween costumes of 2024. Oh, how many you got? I've got five. Oh, actually, here we go. Actually, I'm gonna put a big pillow in my stomach and go as Scotch, the radio announcer. Okay, you got oh real my funny. God, stop it. That brings us to today's top five top Halloween costumes of yes. 2024. As created by Mandy. Number five. All right. What do you think of this? Dress like a steak. Put a hello sign on you. Your meet and greet. Oh. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> like kind of Lady yeah. Gaga vibes with the steak so thing. These are those costumes people have to come up and ask you what you are, and then they groan. Yeah. Well, these are the top five punniest Halloween oh. costumes. Maybe I should have let you know that one. Yeah. Number four. Okay. Dress like an avocado, but then add cat ears and whiskers. Avocado. <laughs> Avocado. Uh, Avocado. No. no, it was not a good one. Are it, the writers on strike again? Uh, Are we going this through is, a writer's strike? This, this is, is Mandy all, writing. All, all Mandy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Pay no, me more. Number three. Dress like a unicorn with a football shirt or jersey. You could do this, Tank. Mm-hmm. Fantasy football. Ooh. Yeah? That's, That's not better. Bad. Also dumb. <laughs> <laughs> number two. Number two. Okay, number two, dress up like a pepper, like one of those spicy peppers. Yeah. With a stethoscope. Stethoscope. <laughs> yep. Dr. Pepper. Dr. <laughs> pepper. Oh, I like that. That one's actually pretty funny. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor. Totally could do it. And yeah. the number one top punniest Halloween costume, Mandy. Cow costume with wings and a halo. Holy cow! Oh! <laughs> Get dressed up. Enjoy the season. More coming up. Froggy 99.9. Good morning, Froggy 99.9. You're taking a break with Mandy. Part of the wake-up call in the morning, and we've all been there. Included in a group text. Maybe as a PSA. Group text etiquette. What rules would you want people to follow? You're only allowed to text back once. Yeah. So if you have something to say, it better fit in your one text that you're going to put into the group chat. If it doesn't fit and you got to say it in like 12 times or, hey, guys, I think, then, then you, you're, blocked. You, you're blocked. If you don't have an iPhone or if you know somebody doesn't have an iPhone, don't put them in the group chat because then it makes everything all messy and then you got green messages and I don't like it. So. <laughs> that is the green answer. 
Don't include me in a group text. Yes! I don't have any etiquette. I'm the person who doesn't care. Put your phone on sleep mode. It's not my fault that I woke you up in a group text or a text in general. You're an iPhone user. iPhone, yeah. We're looking at an Android user over here. She's like, oh, that looks special. <laughs> the Wake Up Call with Scotch Tank and Mandy on Froggy 99.9. Froggy 99.9. It is Scotch Tank and Mandy. And oh my goodness, it looks like Carlos the mailboy came like a thief in the night because <laughs> I spy with my little eye the mail sack. The mail's in. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. We just got a letter. Wonder who it's from? Hey, it's the mailbag. You can write to us 1020 South 25th Street, Fargo, North Dakota, 58103. And Mandy, do you want to... I'll read this one, yeah. There you go. Stick your mitt in there and pull out a letter. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Ow, this is full. He brings a lot of mail. His yeah. his sack overfloweth. Okay, I'm open. Thank goodness he wears a name tag. <laughs> yeah. We never know who he is. Okay, ready? Yep. Ready. Says, Lay it on us. Dear Scotch Tank and Mandy. Ooh, I like where this is headed. Nice, right? My daughter is 13, and she has her first boyfriend. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. They've been dating for almost a month, and if that's not uncomfortable enough, (laughs) he has a birthday in two weeks, and my daughter is asking if I can help her buy him a gift. She originally wanted me to buy movie tickets for just the two of them, so that's obviously out. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But because this this is weird for me, I'm struggling with appropriate gifts to help my daughter pick out. Would a card with money in it be too much like a grandma gift? Sincerely, a weirded out mom from Fargo. Is 13 too young for a, a, a kid to be dating? I don't think I'd want a daughter dating at 13. I know my dad didn't want me dating at 13. And like, I don't know what they are. It's like if you but are dating, age, you're holding hands, right? Yeah, you can't put a, a cash in a card for that. No. Because it's, you get to go into a thought. Right. Oh, thoughtful. Like maybe yeah. a picture of the two of them and his favorite candy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. How about a payday? <laughs> That's a or, good candy bar. <laughs> You're right, though. Yeah. I mean, if it's only been like a, a girlfriend month, right? shouldn't be given boyfriend a card with cash in it. That's yeah. kind of corny. Because the whole gifting is, oh, I put a little thought, thought into sentimental. it. Sentimental. Like, yeah. This is now being romantic, but a 13 year old type of maybe romantic. Just some flowers. I remember for Valentine's, I had a and crush on a candy. boy. And I was around this age, 13, 14 years old. Oh, wait, old. the girls, yeah, the boy doesn't want he doesn't flowers. flowers. He no. does not, yeah, he doesn't want flowers. Yeah. Oh, so for sorry. Valentine's Day, I asked my mom, I was like, I really want this, like, Hershey's Kiss, like, this big one, if you've seen them. I've seen them. And so my mom, it's like 5 $7 or whatever. My mom buys it for me. Valentine comes. I put it in my backpack. I'm ready to give it to him, and I chicken out. I oh, chicken out. You didn't want him to think you were too serious yeah, and right, lovey-dovey. And- right, and then I just... Ate it on the bus ride home. <laughs> Good for but, you. But like my mom was like, so how'd it go? I was like, oh, he doesn't, he has no idea. He has no idea. I just like ate it myself. Thank you, mom. <laughs> um, so it's like, I don't know. You don't want to do I'd get something him, like, too dramatic. Going back to that, like 12 packages of Big League Chew. Wouldn't that have been awesome? It's a boy gift. Yeah. Something that a boy's going to enjoy. When you chew that gum, right? Yeah. Something Felt like you were a baseball player putting your chai in. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of something that was thoughtful, but also something like maybe not super romantic. Just like a maybe even a baseball. Big league chew is pack. that romantic? Do you? No, big league chew is not that romantic. Unless well, that you might each work. take a string like the spaghetti. Yeah. Oh. See, huh? yeah. Think. too romantic. We got to move like, on. What was that? What was the movie? The lady lady in the Tramp. Lady in the Tramp. Lady in the tramp. Except with a big, big string, <laughs> big league chew. <laughs> There you go, Mom. Hope we helped you out. <laughs> if you were weirded out before, that didn't help. No, I'm right sorry. Right to the mailbag whenever you can. <laughs> 1020 South 25th Street, Fargo, North Dakota. Physical mail. We really, really read it. We got more coming up on Froggy 99.9.